And we are doing the unsheltered street count tonight. Every day. So what I do, yeah, what I do every day is I I'll, I'll really honestly just go to places that I hear about. And if somebody um, says they see somebody, then I will go down there and check them out. Um, you know, I've had, I've had numerous CHN employees tell me that they saw somebody holding a sign by the freeway or whatever. And I'll go over to that area and check out that area and see how I can assist them, you know. <clears throat> Um, with housing and anything else, any kind of resource really at all, so. Overall, this was a, a really amazing experience. Um, you know, I work with homeless and runaway youth every day, but I'm not out on the streets. Um, and so I, I don't see what they go through on a daily basis before they arrive at our shelter. And we encountered a surprising number of people. Um, we encountered one family. Um, we went and saw the son first, and he was standing on the corner with his dog. And we gave him a blanket and a care package and interviewed him. And then he, he asked us if, if we could please go help his mom, and he gestured to the other side of the, um, the viaducts and said, she's over there, can you please help her? Um, so we drove around and she was on the other side begging for change, um, holding up a sign that said, I think it said, I'm, I'm 67 years old, I need help. Just obviously really desperate, really cold um, and scared. HUD does use those numbers as well as the shelter count, which that has high fidelity because obviously you're counting people in the shelter. They use those numbers to, to uh, um, kind of look at Congress level appropriations for uh, homeless programs. So it's very important, and that's something that actually we emphasized when we when we saw people. We went to the stores and we met with the shop owner. We said, "This count is important because of, it helps with funding um, that Congress uses in order for, to make decisions about homeless services." So, whenever we said that, the shop owners immediately were more interested in letting us know what was going on in the community because they understood the connection to um, funding and helping people. <laughs>